uh, my father, uh, when he was a little boy growing up in South Dakota, he had brown hair. And so everybody in the family called him Brownie. He was the oldest. And then his uh, brother, Wes, had uh, brown hair, or uh, black hair. So everybody called Wes Blackie. And then uh, their little brother, uh, Eldon, had uh, white hair. So everybody called him Whitey. So it was Brownie, Blackie, and Whitey. And this is a story my dad liked to tell. It was about uh, their grandmother. Uh, my grandfather uh, was a Methodist pastor. And it was 1930s, uh, the Great Depression, times were tough. And um, he always had, uh, you know, a little church in uh, South Dakota, not very many people in it. And, and usually he had to have more than one church, or just to make ends meet, he'd have two churches. I think sometimes he even had three churches. And my grandmother thought this was not very good because uh, he was on the road all the time going back and forth between these churches. And then he'd have to go see all the parishioners when they got sick or if anybody was dying. And so he was on the road all the time and he was never home. And so she really, really wanted my grandfather to get one church, one big church, maybe in the state capitol. And the person in charge of the assignment of these churches was the conference superintendent. So one Sunday, uh, he was coming to watch my grandfather preach. And boy, my grandmother was determined to make a big deal out of it and convince that conference superintendent to give my grandfather one church, one big church. So uh, my grandfather uh, preached. And, uh, you know, he was okay as a preacher, but he wasn't really a spellbinder or anything. And uh, after church, uh, they all drove out to the lake. My grandfather drove and uh, for a picnic. And they had fried chicken, and my grandma had fixed it just exactly the way the superintendent liked. And uh, the little boys, Brownie, Blackie, and Whitey, they were on their best behavior. They, they were still wearing their their Sunday clothes, because uh, Grandma thought they would make a better impression on the superintendent if they kept wearing their little ties and their little jackets. And as soon as uh, the picnic lunch was over, uh, my grandfather and superintendent, they got in a rowboat. Uh, my grandmother had heard that the uh, superintendent loved fishing, so my grandpa and the superintendent, they rowed out there on the lake, and they were fishing, and everybody was happy, and my grandma thought, oh man, this is great. And she dozes off there in the shade underneath a tree. Now those boys, uh, uh, Brownie, Blackie, and Whitey, they are hot and they have not been able to do anything all day and they wander down there by the lake. I mean, you know, Grandma's sleeping and Grandpa's way out on the lake and they look down at that uh, brown lake water and oh man, it looks great. And you know, there's a guppy, woo, and there's a tadpole and um, all of a sudden, my uh, grandma, she wakes up, she wakes up out of a sound sleep. And what happened was uh, she heard a splash, a really loud splash. And oh, man, she jumps up and there's the boys on that pier. And okay, there's only two boys. And so she starts running over there. And oh, it turns out Whitey is in the water. Whitey is, I don't know if he got pushed or fell, but he's in all his clothes. He's, he's, he's up to his neck right in that, that lake water. My, my grandma... Well, one thing about my grandma, man, you didn't want to get sick around my grandma. She really had a lot of phobias about uh, sickness and germs. And she, she thought a lake, lake water was just swarming with germs at all times. So they get the boy and they pull him out and Whitey's dripping. And of course, he's happy. You know, he's the only one that's cool. But it's about, I don't know, 90, 95 degrees out there. And, and uh, Grandma, she starts waving, uh, you know, she's trying to get Grandpa to come back. And she's waving at him and she's yelling, you know, Father, Father, come back, come back. And he's so far out, out there on the lake, uh, they, they see her, but they think she's just waving, you know. So they, you know, hey, how are you, you know. And, and they, you know, and so she goes, you know, he's too far away. He can't hear. And so, uh, well, she doesn't know how to drive or anything. So she turns to my dad. He's her oldest son. He says, you know how to drive, Brownie? And my dad, of course, he's just a kid. He's never driven, but he's, he's seen my dad start the car. The car is a Model A. And he says, well, you know, I, I think you just, uh, you turn the crank and something. And so uh, they turn, my, turn the crank and damn, the thing starts right up. And 
Uh, so, uh, Grandma drives. I mean, she's never driven in her life. She doesn't, she doesn't know anything about shifting gears, though. So, in first gear, she, she drives all the way back to town. It's like 10 miles back to town, you know. So, they're going like five miles an hour. And uh, they they get to town and, uh, well, uh, they've got uh, Whitey all wrapped up in a blanket, you know, and uh, Brownie and Blackie are like sitting on him in the back seat to keep him, keep him, you know, still. So he won't die of all those uh, disease germs. And uh, the neighbor, he's uh, he's sitting out, Mr. Johnson, he's he's sitting out there on his porch uh, reading his uh, Sunday newspaper. And, and he looks up and he sees, he says, amazing sight. And it's uh, it's uh, neighbor's Model A, uh, but my grandma's driving it. And it's going, uh, you know, pop, 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 and it goes, it goes right past his house. And he goes, that's a funny thing. And it goes, and it doesn't stop, though. It doesn't stop. It just goes right past and turns the block and disappears. And, well, a few minutes later, darn if it here it comes again, you know. And he, uh, he goes, uh, Mrs. Arms, you know. And she goes, uh, Mr. Johnson, you know, and pop, 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 right, right past the house again. So a third time it uh, comes around, he, he, Mr. Johnson's standing out there in his yard, and he goes, uh, he goes, uh, Mrs. Arms, what, what, uh, and she goes, uh, Mr. Johnson, do you know how to stop an automobile? Pa -pa 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 -pa, and away she goes again, you know, so, uh, boy, I take four, now it's four times she comes around the block, and Mr. Johnson is, he's ready for her, and he jumps up on the, on the running board, and he manages, uh, you know, to get the brake, and he gets that, gets that Model A, uh, stopped, and, and, uh, you know, the boys, uh, Blackie and Brownie, they, uh, they carry their brother into the house and, you know, grandma, uh, you know, scrubs him and, I don't know, boils him and makes him drink castor oil and puts him straight to bed. Meanwhile, uh, my uh, grandpa and the uh, superintendent are walking home. Grandpa never did get that big church.